In this video tip, I'm going to show you how to create and save your own presets. I'm going to open a preset and then modify and save it. I'll go to Melodic EDM and just open up the first one. So you can see the cutoff is already being modulated. So I'll listen to what resonating that would sound like. So it adds a nice rubbery quality. So I'll come down here and start another mod envelope. And I'll just give that a spike in the middle. And then I'm going to loop it and drag those dots from that mod envelope to the resonance and then give it some range. So let's listen without. So I can adjust the offset there at the end just to sort of make it a little more chill or a little more blended in with the rest of the sound. Now I'm going to rename that preset rubber pluck and there's a couple different ways I can save it I can come over here to memory and just save as and save it anywhere on my file system and then I can share it either with myself on another computer or with someone I'm working with you just need to make sure of course that they've got that same expansion or they won't have the sounds to play it Speaking of expansions, that's the other place I could save this. Let me just delete this for a moment. And I'll create my own expansion, user or customer expansion. I can name that MJ stuff. And now I go in there and just drag this in. Now, once I'm done with that, I can go back to MJ stuff and just publish that or save it, share it. Um, I can even verify it, which will run a report uh, to check for other expansions that I've used. In case I want to try and sell that as a third-party expansion, you need to either use factory content for that or use your own sample content, which, you can, which we'll cover later. Um, the other thing you can do is save presets for things like effects, the modulations, anything, almost anything in this editor view can, can also be saved as a preset. And you can go to the uh, drums and save either kits or sequences there. So there's a lot of stuff you can, a lot of things you can save and load and basically experiment. Don't be afraid. Dive in, make your edits and have fun. And you can't do anything wrong. You can always get back to where you were. If I want to initialize and start all over, it's very easy to do again up there in memory. Be sure to check out our Facebook group, VPS Avenger, where you'll see tips like this from other users and also third-party content. I'm Marcel James for Vengeance Sound.